Hi, I'm Jackie. Welcome to AOP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the AOP free cloud. It's really easy. You can follow along online in your dashboard under the getting started section or just watch this video. Either way, we're going to walk you through it. The first thing you need to do is download the AOP cloud package. Just click the download button and you'll get a zip file. Unzip the file and put it somewhere you can find it later. Now just log into your Apex workspace. I'm using apex.oracle.com. You can use it anywhere you've got Apex installed. The first step is installing the PLSQL API. An API is just a set of packages that we use to communicate with AOP. Just upload the AOP DB SQL script and run it. All the statements should be successful. Just make sure you're installing AOP into the parsing schema of your application. Once the API is installed, it's time to install the plugins. For this step, you'll need to be inside the application where you want to use AOP. I'm using the sample database application. It's a packaged application from the app gallery. It comes with Apex. If you don't have an application you'd like to use, you can follow along with me by installing the sample database packaged application. Log into the application builder in your application and go to shared components. you're going to need to install three plugins. Choose the file from that unzipped directory that you downloaded. Go into the Apex folder. You'll see three subdirectories. You'll need to choose the subdirectory for the version of Apex that you're using. If you're on Apex version 18 or above, use the version 18 folder. It works for Apex 19 as well. AOP comes with three plugins, the Dynamic Action plugin, the Process plugin, and the Convert plugin. The Dynamic Action plugin is the one you're going to use 99% of the time. It's the easiest and most reliable way to call AOP. The Process plugin can be used in certain situations, like where you need to submit the page before calling AOP, or if you need to display an inline PDF in a modal window. Then you'd use an AOP before header process. The AOP Convert plugin is only used in certain circumstances when you want to convert a file to a PDF without using a template. Once you have all three plugins installed, we need to set the component settings. There's only one setting you really need to get up and running with the AOP Cloud. That's the API key. The API key is what we use to identify you when you call AOP on our cloud. You can find your API key in your AOP account dashboard. Just go to your dashboard and copy the API key that corresponds to your free cloud account. Paste that into each of the three AOP plugins. Now you're ready to start using AOP. For my examples, I'm using the orders interactive report on page four of the sample database application. The first thing you'll need to do is create a button so that we can call AOP. Be sure the button's action is set to define by dynamic action. Then create a dynamic action
The true action for your dynamic action will be the Apex Office Print DA plugin. AOP needs two things, a template and data. Since we don't already have a template, we're going to use a template type of AOP template. This tells AOP to generate a generic template for us so that we can use it to create our own custom template. We need to tell AOP where to find the data. For the data type, we're going to use our region static ID. Since AOP is so integrated with Apex, all it needs is the region static ID to read the metadata and understand your interactive report. Now it's time to print. Run your page and you'll see your new button. Click it and you should get an output. If you don't get an output or receive an error, don't worry. We've documented a lot of the common errors people receive. You can find a link to those errors in the Getting Started Wizard, or you can look at our documentation. Most of the time, if you search for your error message in the documentation, you'll find some steps to resolve your issue. If you're still stuck or you just need help, you can always email us at support at apexofficeprint.com. Now let's open up your output file. This is the generic template AOP created for us. It gives us an example of all the different tags we can use to create our own custom template. It even shows you how to create a table and loop through your data using the tags. The first table you see is an example of what you would put in your template. The second is an example of the output you would see. If you keep scrolling in the template, you'll see examples of all of the tags you can use and the data that AOP associates with them. You can even use Angular expressions to conditionally hide or show data in your template, but we'll get into that in another video. Now let's customize this template. Remove all the excess data from the bottom and leave only the table at the top. Modify this table in any way you'd like. You can use any of the native features in Word to create your template. You can customize the table to have a different design. You can add headings, page breaks, even images. You can also change the format of your text and use different fonts. Any formatting you place in your template will be present in your output from AOP. All you need to do now is save your template and upload it to your static application files. Just go to Shared Components, Static Application Files, and upload the template you saved. Now let's modify our AOP dynamic action to use our new template. Instead of using AOP template, this time we're going to use static application files. In the template source, just type the name of the template that you created. Now when you press the print button, you're going to see your output in the custom layout you created. All of your formatting's there. Congrats, you just finished your first print with AOP. But it gets even better. If you want to display your interactive report exactly as it's shown on the screen, you only need one tag. Just use our magical interactive tag. Add the interactive tag to your template save it, and upload it again. Now when you print using the interactive tag, you're going to see the interactive report exactly as it was shown on the screen. You didn't have to create a custom layout in your template. You just had to use one tag.
The cool part about interactive reports is that the end user can change how they look on the screen. If they add a highlight or a break or a filter, don't worry, AOP is going to pick up those changes as long as you're using the interactive tag. The next time you print, the user will still see exactly what they had on the screen. Exporting your data in Apex doesn't get much easier than that. Now that you know the basics of using AOP, let's install the sample application so you can dive deeper into all the things that AOP can do. Just upload the sample app into your workspace. You can find the sample app in the Apex subdirectory of the AOP install package. Just be sure to use the version that corresponds to your Apex version. The installation will probably take a few minutes. The installation wizard will, will ask you if you want to install the supporting objects. Just keep this set to yes here. If you ever want a quick way to install AOP into a workspace, just install the sample app. It does the work of installing the AOP DB SQL file for you. When it's done, remember to go into the component settings of each of the three AOP plugins inside the sample application and set your API key. You can find the API key by logging into your AOP dashboard and copying the API key that corresponds to your free cloud account. Paste it into each of the three plugins. Once you've updated all three plugins, run the sample app and log in with your Apex credentials. The sample app is a great place to learn about all the things AOP can do. Check out the Apex features section to see how to use AOP with interactive reports, classic reports, grids, and even charts and calendars. Look under examples to see how to use AOP with different features of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and different PDF features. There's tons to explore. If you ever need help, have a feature request, or just have a comment, you can always email us at support at apexofficeprint.com. We're always happy to hear from you. Happy printing.